So, you're gonna have a baby. You're gonna have a baby. You're gonna have a baby. You're going to get a lot of advice. Ignore 90% of it, it's, it's worthless. Here's some good advice. 10 things I wish I knew before I became a parent. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Number 10. Everything you're doing is probably the best to somebody and the worst thing that you can possibly do to somebody else. So just do what works for you and don't get on the internet because you can Google anything and everybody has an opinion. You all know how to take care of them. Do not care one ounce what other people think about you. Bam. Yeah. Number nine. <laughs> get on a schedule, get on a schedule, get on a schedule if you want to live. Schedule is key to sleep. Schedule. Number eight. Everybody leaves this out. So parenting is hard. You can't, sometimes you just can't handle it. Take just an hour, go to grandma's, drop the baby off, go get some ice cream, take a 20 minute nap, make a date night once a week, and don't skip it. Number seven. <gasps> this is important. Instead of having to like mold them to what you want. Discover who they are and let them, let them be. Number six. Be prepared for the unexpected because it will happen. Like, maybe the possibility of having twins. There is a chance that your baby could go flying down a hill and then roll out of her car seat onto the road, which may have happened. Number five, you've got to make room for the baby. Crib, changing table, car seat, stroller, two strollers actually, bassinet that went into our room, even though he had a crib in his own room, and they're toys. More crap. He's got his own room. He's five pounds, he has his own room. Right? Like, I don't have my own room. Number four. You're going to look back and you're going to say, I wish those times would come back. So keep them. Don't give them all away. They'll only wear it once, but you'll keep it forever. Memories are the only thing that you have left after all this said and done. Number three. Be grateful for your kids. Be grateful! Things that you aren't prepared for no. can turn out to be good things in the end. Oh, yeah. Worth it. All the poop and snot and screaming and crying and fighting. Worth it. All of it. Totally worth it. I cherish every single minute. We would never have asked for the challenge, but we were so grateful for what she taught us. We're grateful every day for her life. The best thing that ever happened to us. Number two. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's gonna be okay. Some days you're just not gonna have a lot of patience, and that's okay. It really is all just spilled milk. The house can wait. All of the chores can wait. You have to remember that this is a massive change in your life. And you're gonna feel every emotion there is to feel. Those deep, deep, deep emotions on either side of the spectrum. Yeah. Number one. The one thing that you just, you can't understand, that you can't prepare for, that you're not gonna know until you experience it. All the love. Be prepared to love something more than you ever thought you could because, because you haven't. You haven't yet. And it will be the best thing that you've ever done in your whole life. If I wasn't a mom, I can't imagine. It's been too wonderful. Just relax. You're gonna be great, hopefully.